हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट बाइनोक्युलर विजन ओके सो फर्स्ट इन द बाइनोक्युलर विजन वी हैव थ्री मेन थिंग्स ग्रेड्स व्हाट इज बाइनोक्युलर विजन व्हेन वी सी एन ऑब्जेक्ट okay that object should go through the eye if this is the eye the object should go through the eye it should cross the cornea conjunctiva conjunctiva cornea then it should reach the aqueous tube but then it should uh, go to the lens it should cross the lens and then it goes to the uh, vitreous humor it crosses the pupil and then goes to the lens and then cross it goes to the vitreous humor and it will um, project onto the retina okay when you project onto the retina we will see the image okay whenever we see the eye, the one object if we see with both the eyes even if we see a candle with both the eyes we will see only one a candle we are not seeing two candles why because of this binocular vision that means the two objects which were formed the, the sorry the one object which forms two different images in the eye but both these images will fuse together and in the visual cortex you will see only one image will be projected so that is because of binocular vision so what are the main grades of binocular vision we have three grades of binocular vision the first important thing is about the simultaneous perception that means you should see the two objects should be seen at the same time only then this works that is simultaneous perception so in simultaneous perception it is not necessary that you should have same object it can be different object but those objects different objects can also be visualized together so that is simultaneous perception which is the first grade the example is there is maddox rod we have maddox rod in the maddox rod we have a line and we have the dot okay so both this line and dot can be perceived together that is simultaneous perception then second second we have uh, fusion okay in the fusion for fusion there should be same object here there should be similar objects okay one more important thing there is a test for simultaneous perception so for this test is for example if you uh, see a, a cage and if you see an animal like lion if you see from with one eye if you see cage and with the other eye if you see a lion simultaneously then there can be you can see the lion in the cage okay so this is actually the simultaneous perception two objects are perceived together as one object okay that is simultaneous perception then if you see in fusion fusion here there will be similar objects similar objects that is the two the two eyes when they whenever they see similar objects they will overlap those objects and produce one image that is fusion there are two different images which are formed but at the end they will fuse to form one different image so that is fusion so for example if there are some missing parts so if you see if this is an apple and for this apple there is no um, stem okay the whereas this apple has the stem okay the apple from the left uh, right eye has no stem whereas apple from the left eye has the stem whereas the apple from the right eye here there is a plate okay so if you see if you combine together and if you see in the fusion you will see it in the apple with a plate and here like this okay with the stem so this is fusion where two objects whenever there are some missing parts both these are simultaneously perceived to complete one object so this is the second grade which is fusion then we have third grade what is third grade called it is actually stereopsis what is stereopsis stereopsis is actually the depth perception is stereop stereopsis okay so this is binocular vision where you see three two three grades so we have simultaneous perception fusion and stereopsis then then if you see there is something called has normal retinal correspondence and abnormal retinal correspondence what is normal retinal correspondence and we also have one more which is abnormal 
retinal correspondence so what do you see in normal retinal correspondence in normal retinal correspondence see this is the retina one this is the second retina okay then we have fovea okay wherever there is fovea of the right eye okay you think that here there is fovea of the right eye here we have fovea of the left eye this is fovea okay so this is the fovea of the right eye fovea of the left eye remember fovea is a little uh, to the nasal side, sorry temporal side okay fovea is a little temporal to the optic uh, nerve so as a result fovea is towards the temporal side so this is fovea of right eye this is fovea of left eye whenever the both fovea of left right eye and fovea left left eye these both will combine together and they form then whenever an object is is focused onto this fovea these both will form simultaneous perception and then there will be fusion of the objects and once there is fusion of the object there is formation of one image this is actually normal retinal correspondence but in abnormal retinal correspondence it mainly occurs in some type of squint so if whenever there is squint think that there is exotropia so whenever there is exotropia this is the normal um, fovea of the right eye in the left eye there is exotropia that is movement is like this so as a result the fovea instead of being here it becomes it rotates little like this okay so as a result now these both will not meet okay so actually uh, will not meet at the same point so as a result there will be there will be sometimes binocular vision because of the adjustment okay but if the adjustment is not possible properly there can be diplopia can be seen so here there can be good crude binocular single vision okay because this will whenever there is they, they both will meet they will also produce binary binocular vision but this is not the original one okay so this is normal retinal correspondence and abnormal retinal correspondence now if you see the tests so what tests do you do for binocular vision so the tests done for binocular vision are number 1 we have warth four dot test according to this warth four dot test you will have a spectacles okay the patient is asked to wear a spectacles and in the spectacle you have two things one on the right side there is red right side you will see red colored film is there whereas on the left side the glasses have green colored okay on the left side the glasses are of green colored okay now with these glasses you were asked to look at an uh, object or at a image which contains this so it has two green dots okay one red dot and one white okay if this is seen just like this okay then this is actually normal if the patient perceives these has um, one red one red dot two green dot and one white dot then it is normal but if the patient perceives these has like this for example if the patient will perceive these four lights only but here if he perceives these four lights same these four lights but if he is perceiving these with squint with squint then that means it is abnormal retinal correspondence okay but if he perceives these um, lights only but the difference is that if he perceives three green lights instead of two green lights if he is perceiving three green lights okay then it is right eye is not seeing properly right red is not there so this means there is right eye suppression is there if he is seeing three green eyes that means there is right eye suppression then if he if he sees actually two red dots that means if he is only seeing two red dots that is right eye is working properly but there is green suppression so that means there is left eye suppression is there if there is two red dots okay but if he is able to see five lights that means if he is seeing three uh, two red two red dots and if he is also seeing three green dots okay that means here he has diplopia okay so this is called has warth four dot test 
Okay, then we have one more test which is called has Bagolini. Striated glasses test. According to this Bagolini striated glasses test, here there is a glass. Okay, and this glass, this is the glass. Here there are fine barely visible striations are present. In this glass there are striations like this. So this is how you see. So if this is the glasses, you will see that there will be striations. Okay, so here there will be fine barely visible Striations are present and these striations are actually oriented. They are actually oriented at around 135 degrees in right eye and they are oriented around 45 degrees before the left eye. That means they are oriented 135 degrees in the right eye and they are oriented 45 degrees in the left eye. That means these both are actually perpendicular to each other 90 degrees. Okay, whenever there are these striations are present in such a way that in the right eye they are 135 degrees and in the left eye they are 45 degrees. Now what happens? Once he sees uh, through these glasses with these striations, now the streaks, see if the streaks are intersects like this, if the streaks are intersects like this without any squint. So that means the patient has binocular single vision only. Okay, the patient has binocular single vision because both these, see both these are actually, see this is the actual one. Now these both will combine together and they complete the image like this. Okay, when they complete the image like this, that means it is binocular single vision with normal retinal correspondence. Now if there is similar vision but here there is quint also. Then this say, this say states that there is binocular single vision, but here there is abnormal retinal correspondence. Then, then if you see if there is no fusion at all, that means if there is no fusion, that means the patient has diplopia. Okay. Then second, if the patient is if the patient can see either the right eye line or left eye line, that means there is suppression. If the patient is seeing only right eye line or left eye line, that means there is suppression. Okay. Now, if the patient is seeing uh, right eye line, left eye line, all but there is no combination in the center, that means here the patient has central suppression scotoma. The image is not completed at the center so that means the patient will have central suppression scotoma so this is what is seen in bagolani striated glass test thank you thank you and thank you for watching